Hello friends and welcome to Take Two for this Wednesday, the 18th of May, 2022. I'm Jeannie. I'm so glad you've decided to come along for the ride today. Well, you know, the other night we had this big blood moon eclipse was going to be happening and we were so excited about it. We had planned on watching it, you know, as soon as we heard that it was going to be happening, we had out our little binoculars and everything and we were ready for it. Well, we had some nasty rainy weather that day day so we were hoping oh it'll be all cleared up by then well we went outside at the time where it was supposed to be happening and when we got out there there was this big old moon it was just there with a few wispy clouds so we were excited 15 minutes later when it was supposed to be really starting we went outside total cloud cover we went out 15 minutes after that total cloud cover for the rest of the night totally not visible to the naked eye. Well, we were very disappointed. And I kind of, you know, was a little grumpy about it. I said, I really wanted to see it. Until the bell went off in my head and said, Jeannie, there's nothing you could do about it. So why are you fretting? And this is something that I've had to deal with my entire life. Fretting about things I could do nothing about. <laughs> You know, there are times where we fret about stuff we could do nothing about, but then again, we'll fret about things that we actually could do something about. Like my friend Mandy, who lives in Seattle, Washington, she said that even though she grew up in a different part of America, when her husband got transferred to Seattle and, and her little girl was small, she said the first summer that she was there, it rained almost every day and she was just miserable because to her summertime meant all kinds of outdoor activities and things she could do as a kid and that she could do with her own child and then eventually two more children that she had but unfortunately you, she couldn't so she had to come up with a, an alternative so one day she thought to herself you know what why don't I kind of create some thoughts and some activities that we could do indoors some projects so that it's it's not totally lost. Oh no, it's raining. I can't do anything. So she created what she called her rainy day book. She started with one and over the years she ended up with several different ones. Not only that, she got together, she and her husband with other parents and they swapped ideas on how to be creative when it's out of the, the usual ways of things that they would be doing. So she had so many fun activities. Even one summer, she said when they were, now they're not not only indoor things, she said one summer they had a uh, vacation planned out in the wilderness where they were going to be camping and they got out there and it was eight days out there. They had no internet. They were really kind of out in the wilderness and she said that when they got out there and they started to uh, unpack the, the camper, it started raining and it rained the entire eight days. So she said, hmm, we've got to do some indoor things. I'm glad I packed <laughs> I'm glad I packed the rainy day book, but then she said, well, why can't we do some rainy day things out here in the wilderness, even outside? Because we're not going to be here again for a good long time or even ever again. So they started doing some outdoor stuff in the rain, like looking for flowers that they didn't, they've never seen before or bird watching, things like that. When it was less rainy and just drizzly, they had all kinds of things that they could explore. And she said over the years, they filled more than a dozen books with all sorts of of things, their memories, some pictures, some of the kids drew things, remembering that. So not only was it a book of ideas, it was also a book of memories. And it's something that will always be near and dear and precious to Mandy's heart that she was able to do this with her kids and, and with her entire family, her husband as well. See, she, she actually took a situation where she could do nothing about it, the rain, and she transformed that into something new and wonderful opportunities and things that she could do with her family inside and also outside where it's safe. She said through those rainy summers, she was able to help teach her kids how to do uh, repairs on the house, painting, uh, different craft projects. They learned how to cook where they may not have learned how to cook before. 
all sorts of fun things. And now the legacy is being carried on as her oldest child is now married and has a child of her own. She said, Mom, the best gift you could have ever given me was talking to me about creating a rainy day book because that's what I am doing now with my family. Wow, isn't that cool? <sighs> Listen. I think that many of us in this world have complaining hearts and complaining mouths when we have some situation arise where we could do nothing about it. Listen, if you can't, you can't. I could do nothing about those clouds over the eclipse the other night, but Mandy could do something about the rain in Seattle and she came up with this idea. And I think that's pretty remarkable. So, Go out and be a blessing to somebody today. That's something you could do, rain or shine, because you may end up being the only one who is. Hey, don't forget to also subscribe to this YouTube channel. You could do that on a rainy day or a sunny day, if you like. And it is Jeannie Sigler, J-E-A-N-N-E-S-I-G-L-E-R. Hit that subscribe button, the notification bell. I will notify you every time another Take Two is premiering. Don't forget, tune into my program, Through the Eyes of a New York Woman. There's two times you can do that every week, actually four times. You can go to ultimateoldiesradio.com and you can go at 8 o'clock Central, 9 o'clock Eastern AM and PM and hear the program. And then oldie700.com, oldie700.com on Sundays at 4 Central, 5 Eastern. And that's AM and PM. And immediately following that is On the Road with Chef Michael. Great programming. So listen, get out there and get yourself one of these. You never know when you might be able to need it. Uh, well, save it for a rainy day, okay? I love you all very much, and I will see you next week. Bye-bye.